Hey guys, so this month's design team challenge for my Etsy shop and my line of rubber stamps, yes, I have my own line of rubber stamps, and we're about to release five more sets for 2017, five. Um, as of today, filming this, the uh, sample sets are on the way to me, and the sets are avail available for pre-order. Um, they won't ship for a couple of weeks yet, to the customers, but they will ship and you can not only get them in unmounted red rubber, um, now you can, if you wanna spend a little bit more and get them already mounted on cling and they come mounted on cling, they come die cut like this and you get them with the, um, the image card. They come just like this and this is how you get them out of the plastic bag. Um, so um, there's listings for ordering them both ways right now for pre-order. Um, for right now the cling sets will probably be factory drop shipped direct to you from the factory after you order them from me but there shouldn't be that much of a lag time in you getting them. Anyway so go look at the Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. The new sets are really cute, really exciting, and I'm looking forward to getting my samples in any day now. All right, so this month our prompt is planner or diary. So I have some of these Avery labels that I was working on for the Etsy shop. Again, this is something that is in the digital um, download section. And when you order these sticker sheet downloads, you could of course print them on plain paper if you don't have the Avery sticker sheet that they were formatted for or if um, you can't afford them. Um, I didn't quite line up the paper correctly. You have to like line up sometimes your printer so that it lines up correctly and these were not lined up correctly. So I have some that have like a white edge. And I don't really mind that, it doesn't bother me, but um, and that has to do with my new computer and yeah, anyway. So, but anyway, these are printed on a matte sticker sheet that's not a glossy sticker sheet and this is a background image of mine. So we're gonna use these to create our own custom like planner or diary stickers. And we are going to, ooh, here is a good one out of this set. We're gonna grab a couple of these sets um, that have images that I might wanna use on here. If I want to use a bird, but let's pull this one out. So I think I'm going to use these three here. And I think I'm going to start with this one with the girls on it. And I think we're going to take the create, which should fit. We'll find out if it doesn't exactly fit. I'm not, you know, that's all right with me. So you can print a basic background or paint on the sticker. And then stamp an image or word over that. And you have, look at that, isn't that cute? Wouldn't that be cute in your planner? Or if you're doing the My Life journaling thing with um, me and the other Facebook sister group owners, these would be cute in your, in your journal this year. You could do um, all different kind of words. I'm gonna do a row of create. I should have inked the stamp a little bit more, but I'm all right with that. And then let's see, I don't know. The love might be too big to fit on here. Yeah, it's too big. But I have this little gear shape. This is actually a set that's meant to create flowers from, and it has a couple of borders in it. And this round shape, um, gear shape is, um, supposed to be used, like you can use it as a flower. You can use it as anything. It's like a flower center. It's a doodly gear. I thought it might be cute on here. Oh, yeah, that is cute on there. So some of my stamps are really detailed, so you want to make sure you ink your stamp up really well. Sometimes it's helpful if you just kind of breathe on it. It sometimes stamps a little better. I do prefer the um, archival ink. I think it's blacker than the stays on. Both of them are waterproof. So if you wanted to go back over these and color them um, with watercolor paint or something like that, the ink won't run. And then this set, 
which I love this set. I wonder if Inspired will fit. I think it will fit. Let's try it. Because that would be a good word I would love to be able to use in my journal this year. And you can use these now on Happy Mail. You can use them in your planners, your diaries, your My Life journal. They would be so cute. All right, we're going to also do this one, which is one of my favorite images from this set, which is like a doodly circle with all these weird dots in it. That's cute. I like that one. I like to do a whole sheet of these so then I just have them when I want a sticker for something or if I know I'm going traveling and going on a trip, I'll cut off a whole vertical row so I have one of each of different the different kinds of stickers to take with me and shove in my planner or my di or my journal, my travel journal. Alrighty, what else can we get on here? I have this other word, artistic. I think it might fit. Let's try it, shall we? Yes, it does fit. So get out your stamps, get out your sticker sheets and see what you can do. Now, of course, you could do the same thing on a plain sheet of paper. You're just gonna have to glue them down or use a Xyron sticker machine or double stick tape to get them in your journal. Um, but these Avery sticker sheets are fun to play with. And if you would like to buy any of my backgrounds, digital downloads, or rubber stamps, or pre-order the 2017 stamps, you can find them all in my Etsy shop. And all of that's in the description below, along with the videos from the design, my design team members. They've come up with some fabulous pro projects this month. So give them all some love and go watch their videos and see what they've come up with. And don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.